mean, just before 5 a.m. is when we had those northern lights dancing across the sky in Virginia City. We did have a report of a light, faint green glow in Lolo at around 3.30 this morning. So if you sleep late, you miss out. 42 degrees right now in Missoula, 30 currently in Butte, 31 in Bozeman, 45 this morning in Kalispell. Statewide, not doing too bad. Radar showing dry skies for us uh, right now, and that's going to be our trend overall for the bulk of the day. So driving into work, you've got dry roadways, but we're tracking some changes. We've got that milky white shading. That is just some cloud cover. So increasing clouds for us early today. By the afternoon, right around lunchtime, could have a couple of isolated, mainly mountain showers through the Sealy Swan. So Mission Mountains, uh, the Bob Marshall Wilderness area could start to see a little bit of shower activity. As we head into that evening drive, that's when things start to change a bit for us. We've got rain in the forecast for you in Bozeman at around 530. Bozeman Pass, some uh, slushy wet snow starting to come down. And with snow levels dropping behind a front this afternoon and evening, we're going to see a complete changeover to snow and there could be some minor travel impacts for your Wednesday morning drive. So this is right around 630 tomorrow morning along the I-90 corridor. Lookout pass expecting some snowfall. Mission Valley, a few flakes of snow along the I-90 corridor. It's going to be slushy, wet snow coming down, but it's Bozeman where we're going to focus uh, our forecast because as we move through your Wednesday morning, we're going to see snow accumulate, especially in the mountains. We do have that winter storm warning after all for the mountains around Big Sky, expecting to see anywhere between five to as much is 15 inches of snow. Mountain passes like Marias Pass uh, and uh, Rogers Pass and uh, of course Lookout or McDonald Pass could see a slushy accumulation of snowfall uh, for your Wednesday morning. But let's look at our Bozeman forecast. Computer models put Bozeman at anywhere between one to five inches of slushy wet snow. Now initially due to warm surface temperatures, there's going to be some melting. But as that snow continues to fall for you, we're going to see a little bit of it accumulate. And with falling temperatures, there is the potential that our roads can ice up. So be sure to stay alert to changing weather conditions by downloading our NBC Montana News and Weather apps. Here's a look at today's forecast temperatures. 51 Missoula and Butte, 54 in Kalispell, 57 in Bozeman. Again, showers arrive late in the day. Winds will be breezy for us throughout the day, gusting up to around 20 to 30 miles per hour. So it's going to be another rough day out on Flathead Lake uh, with wave heights approaching one to two feet for us as we head into the afternoon. Falling temperatures tonight, temp we're dropping into the mid 20s for Butte and Bozeman, 29 in Missoula, just below the freezing mark in Kalispell at 30 degrees. But look at your 10 day forecast, Kalispell. Those overnight lows are dropping into the mid to low 20s for the second half of the week. 25 Thursday morning, 23 Friday morning, 22 Saturday morning, gradually warming those low temperatures above the freezing mark as we head into the weekend. Speaking of weekend, rain snow mix possible for you on Sunday. For Missoula, 10 day forecast, overnight low temperatures, mid to low 20s. Temperatures in the day, not much better. We're going to be in the 40s for highs. There will be a couple of showers on Wednesday, but overall showers diminish by Wednesday afternoon. And we do expect drier skies through the end of the weekend. The weekend just temperatures are going to be below normal for this time of year. Butte, take a look at your 10 day forecast. Daytime highs only in the 30s Wednesday, Thursday and Friday. Overnight lows though dropping into the teens. You're going to bundle up with that low of 18 degrees Friday morning. Temperatures rebounding this weekend, but those overnight lows will remain below the freezing mark through the weekend, which is actually pretty close to normal for this time of year. Daytime highs looking good and above normal and close to 70 early next week. Bozeman next 10 days for you. A couple of snow showers arrive tonight and into your Wednesday. Again, there's a big spread of one to five inches as far as computer models go. It's going to be slushy, wet snow. That's what's going to slow you down. But all of that wet snow is going to turn to a little bit of ice. And we do have a concern for some travel impacts early Thursday morning due to some patchy areas of ice on our roadways. After all, temperatures are going to be in the teens for you. 19 degrees Thursday, Friday and Saturday morning. But that will improve this weekend. And we'll see your high temperatures improving next week back into the low 70s. Dipping back into the teens, Brooke. Right, dipping back into the teens. I mean, it is a roller coaster. Sunday was almost 80 degrees. Tomorrow we're going to be in the 30s with lows in the teens, but then next week we're going to kick those temperatures back into the upper 70s or mid to upper 70s. I just say welcome to Montana. Yeah. Right. It's a spring in Montana for sure. <laughs> All right. Thanks so much. And do download our NBC Montana news and weather app since we are having such huge fluctuations in our temperatures and weather conditions. All right. Coming up, a long time dispute continues as agencies in Granite County are at odds over who should take care of a main thoroughfare along Georgetown Lake. And this is a live look over Bozeman from our Opportunity Bank of Montana weather camera. Your morning sprint is next.